Hi, fourth graders. This is your math e-learning lesson for Wednesday, April 22nd. Today we're going to do a combination of two lessons. We're going to combine lessons 121 and 122, where we're adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators. The reason for combining both is because we've looked at this already in class, so this really isn't brand new for you. And since um, it's the, the same basic idea, whether you're adding or subtracting when you have like denominators. So we're going to combine the two. If you take a look at lesson 121, down at the bottom of the page, there's the example of 3 fifths plus 1 fifth. So let's take a look at that. 3 fifths plus 1 fifth. Well, what you're saying here is, here I have a figure divided up into five equal parts. <clears throat> so if I have three of those parts shaded in, one, two, three, <clears throat> excuse me, that represents your three fifths. If you then add one more fifth, okay, and we'll shade it in like this, we'll just stripe it so you can see the difference. Okay, so we have three fifths shaded in, plus we've added another fifth. What do you have a total of? One, two, three, four, you have a total of four fifths four out of the five parts are now shaded. Well, when you're adding or subtracting fractions with like denominator, the denominator stays the same because you can see why. We had three fifths, we added another fifth. So what do you have? Altogether, you have four fifths. Three plus one equals four, and the fifths stay the same. The same thing if I said, well, I have, you know, three chocolate chip cookies here, I add another chocolate chip cookie to it, how many do I have? Well, you have four chocolate chip cookies. I don't have peanut butter cookies, I don't have something else. If I have chocolate chip cookies here and chocolate chip cookies here and I add them together, I still have chocolate chip cookies. Same idea here, okay? Our fifths, we're still working with fifths. Three fifths plus another fifth equals four fifths. Okay, let's take a look at the practice for the addition of fractions with like denominators. So we have several problems here, and let's just go through them together. Let's take a look at these now. So this is addition. Okay. So again, right away we have thirds. One third plus one third. Well, we know that the thirds is going to stay. The denominator will stay the same. We don't do anything with that. We only need to add the numerators. And one plus one equals two. One fourth plus two fourths. Okay, we're keeping the fourths, that's not changing, we only need to add the numerators. One plus two equals three. One fifth plus two fifths. Again, fifths stay the same, we just add the numerators. One plus two equals three. Three tenths plus four tenths. Still just adding tenths, it stays the same, we add the numerators. Three plus four equals seven. Five twelfths plus six twelfths, again, adding twelfths both times, we're just adding the twelfths. Okay, we have twelfths here, we have twelfths here. It stays twelfths, we only need to add the numerators. Five plus six equals eleven. And here we have twenty-fifths, eight twenty-fifths plus nine twenty-fifths. We still have twenty-fifths. And then we just simply add the numerators. Eight plus nine equals seventeen. So whether you're adding or subtracting, fractions that have the same denominator, like denominators, the denominator stays the same and you only need to do the math work on top. Again, why? As I showed you with that example or just with the cookies, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have one third plus another third, you're still just adding thirds, it stays the same. Okay, one chocolate chip cookie plus another chocolate chip cookie, it's still the chocolate chip cookie. Same idea here. Think of your figures divided up into 
three equal parts, you shade one part, then you shade another part. How many parts are shaded? Two, two thirds. Okay, if we have fourths, quickly here, do a circle, we have fourths. We have one fourth shaded in, then what do we do? We're shading in two more fourths, one, two. So now we ask, well, how many fourths are now shaded in? Three fourths, we're still working with fourths. It doesn't matter, you know, um, how small your denominator seems or how large the number seems. Also though, remember that the larger your denominator, the smaller your pieces are going to be. But it doesn't matter if it's a two digit denominator or a single digit denominator. If the denominators are the same, it stays the same and you just do the addition or the subtraction work of the numerators. Okay, let's take a look at your subtraction examples. The practice for lesson 122. Let's take a look at those now. So be, be looking ahead, see if you have the answers for them as I get them written here. Take a look. And we have thirds, so our denominator is still going to be thirds. So if we have two thirds and then we take one third away, what do we have left? Two minus one equals one, one third. Okay. If you have vertical divided up into thirds and we say, well, we have, you know, two thirds have been shade it in, but now we're going to erase one of those thirds. How many of those thirds are still shaded in? Just one third. Okay, again, thirds stay the same. So here we have four fifths minus two fifths. We still have fifths, and then four minus two equals two. Okay, eight twelfths minus three twelfths. We're still just working with twelfths, and then it's eight minus three, which equals five, five twelfths. Three fourths minus two fourths, still fourths, and three minus two equals one. Nine tenths minus six tenths, keep the tenths, and now subtract nine minus six equals three. Five six minus five six, well, if you see that you have six, you might do this and say, okay, well, it's still six, but then what do I have? Five minus five, five minus five is zero. Well, so you may have written this and you may have zero six, but we don't leave it that way. It's just simply zero. Okay, whether it's zero six or zero tenths, it's still just zero. Okay, so if you did go through this and you said, okay, well, I always write my denominator, I write my denominator first, and then I'm doing my subtracting of my numerators, five minus five equals zero, and, zero, and you ended up with zero, six, you would need to write it just simply as zero because zero, six is just zero. Okay, so again, whether you are adding or subtracting fractions with like denominators, your denominator stays the same and you're doing either the subtracting or the addition of the numerators only. The denominator will simply stay the same. And I showed you why that is, okay? Because it, whether, you know, here, let's do, um, let's do six. We did fourths before, so let's do six here. Okay, so here, for example, even um, this one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six equal parts. We have five of those parts shaded in, two, three, four, five. So we have five, six shaded in, but then if we're going to, let's say, erase five, six, when we get done, what do we have shaded in? Nothing is shaded in, okay? So again, just keeping, um, 
keeping the denominator as is and just doing the addition or subtraction of the numerators. Remember, as I said before, it's like the chocolate chip cookies. Okay, if I have nine chocolate chip cookies here and I give six of those chocolate chip cookies away, how many chocolate chip cookies do I have left? I have three chocolate chip cookies. It's not some other cookie, it's the same. Okay, same thing here with your denominator. Okay, your denominator stays the same, right? That does not change. Okay, so this is addition and subtraction of like denominators. You're working on the two lessons. However, on lesson 121, I'd like you to do numbers 1 to 14, numbers 1 to 14 on lesson 121. And then on lesson 122, you start with number 15 and you go to number 30. So it's 1 to 14 in lesson 121, 15 to 30 in lesson 122. If you have any questions or you need help with anything, please reach out to me so that I can help you with that. Also, don't forget, spend some extra time on IXL or Extra Math. Okay? Have a good day. I'll talk to you later.